at Spring Sports Media Day with Terps Lacrosse goalie Logan Cananey. Logan, looking back, reflecting a little bit before we talk about this year, what's the last couple of months been been like for you? Um, you know, um, obviously coming off of the, the year we had last year, um, you know, you t- kind of take a step back, take it all in for a little bit, but I kind of kind of get rid of that um, kind of in the later half of the summer, get ready to get back into into the season with a new group kind of reset, make our own journey and our own goals and we have our own team and it's, it's a completely different team than last year so um, we're going to find our new identity and that's kind of what we're planning on doing. So. Yeah, when you talk about the identity of Maryland lacrosse, obviously the culture, be the best, you guys know that you have the target on your back, especially after the championship from last year. What, what is the mentality of playing at Maryland? What does that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, it means everything to me. Um, you know, growing up watching Maryland lacrosse games, um, it's just guys working hard. Um, I think the first thing that has to be proved by the lawyer on behalf of any client who's injured their neck or back is that the client was hurt and they were hurt in this accident. And even though they had pre-existing problems, the damage to this individual client is much worse now after the crash than it was before. We do that with pain and suffering witnesses. We do that with doctors that know the individual patient. I ask you about one of your teammates now, the first Maryland defender to get the number yep. one jersey, Brett Maycar. What does it mean to you to see the guy that's right to your right or yeah. left in the cage taking on the tradition of Maryland lacrosse in the yeah. number one jersey? I mean, ever since I got here, I knew that that kid was a pretty special kid. Um, almost a man now, pretty much. Um, but just seeing his work ethic and how much he cares about the team, uh, representing the state, just the passion he plays with is, is super special. And for a guy like him to get number one, it's, it's pretty deserving for him. So it's pretty special to see that, but he doesn't change. You know, he's the same guy, and uh, you know, it's good for him that he's wearing number one. So. You know, growing up, uh, going to some of the Final Four tournaments, watching on TV, um, playing at camps, like reenacting, like um, swimming the game winning goal for the national championship, and turns out I played goalie, um, but, um, just growing up and seeing uh, all the other teams do what they did and then going out there and doing it ourselves is, is pretty special to me. Since 1991, Viner Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the D.C. metro area and around the globe. Use Viner Forgates for your next IT project. Great products, on-point tech support, projects that run on time. These are some of the reasons that customers love Viner Forgates. We make your company work. For your next IT project, call Viner Forgates at 301-251-2900 or on the web at vinerforgates.com. So you got all these East Coast guys playing lacrosse, yep. and you have one guy from Oregon. <laughs> yep. uh, how did Ajax Zapatella fit into this program, and is there a difference in West Coast to East Coast lacrosse from what you can tell? Yeah, I mean, obviously in, in high school, um, when you're getting recruited to a school like this or any big, big Ten school, ACC, what have you, um, those guys are going to be the best players on the high school team pretty much. So um, he kind of understands that. And guys on the team as well, younger guys, when they come in, it's a clean slate. Um, you kind of have to work from the bottom up. And he's been uh, he's been doing a great job ever since he's gotten here. So um, he's a hard worker. Um, like many guys, I can, I can say so many good things about him, um, but he's just someone that works incredibly hard, um, cares so much, puts in the film work extra time, so it's pretty, pretty special to see. Um, I don't see much of a difference, um, kind of in the grand scheme of things, you know, he kind of bought into into the culture here, and he's doing pretty well. So, so often you spin out of that cage and yeah. look 50 yards downfield like yeah. your own version of Tom Brady. <laughs> How far downfield can you hit a guy like I'll take a, an open Dante Trader, somebody like that? I'd say a hope, hopefully a hundred yards. Try to on the dot, but you know that's that's pretty tough to do. Um, but um, playing on the defensive side of things, you know, you're kind of the starters of the offense. Um, you get a stop after a long possession, short possession, whatever. Um, you get it to that offensive guys as quick as possible. And I, I take pride in the clearing game. Um, it's something that I really work on. Stick work is extremely important for me. It's important for everyone. Um, I try to incorporate both hands because sometimes I can't get the pass off with my left hand. So um, 
if I could do it with both hands, the same distance, you know, on the dot, I mean, that's pretty cool. So that is. I kind of work on that stuff quite a bit. So. Well, to me, you lost, I guess, your two best receivers. Some of those yeah. plays, the Bubba yeah. and the Roman, where you hit them and oh, they're yeah. going. And yeah. you're, or you, I guess you, like all the fans, are waiting to see if they score on yeah. those plays. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we have guys that are coming in that are able to do the similar stuff to them. Um, they're younger, obviously, not as much experience, yeah. but... Um, Throughout the fall and even in this in this preseason, guys have stepped up and um, we'll have some guys that can run transition. So, yeah. so what kind of celebrations to kick off? Were those fifty-yard passes results in a score? <laughs> Just a little fist bump. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not I'm not much for celebrations. No, um, you 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 have a reputation to be yeah, pretty calm yeah, back I, there. I can't be going crazy back yeah. there. So. Um, kind of just keep it within myself and yeah. you know I don't get too hyped up about things like that obviously yeah. it's pretty motivating and it's a especially with those transition goals they're pretty motivating to uh, to the team you know our bench gets pretty hyped up yeah. some funny stuff going on there, this but. is something I don't think I've ever said before our returning national championship goalie uh, here on Turp Talk yep. thanks for being on we'll see you on Saturday against Richmond yep. Sorry. thank you